guys and welcome back to my kitchen. I hope you're all well. Today I've got a really exciting recipe for you. I am going to be doing my slow roasted leg of lamb. I'm actually going to be starting on the barbecue as well. The recipe is in my first book, My Modern Indian Kitchen, and it's just amazing. It's one of my favourite, favourite recipes. I've actually done this for a number of years now and it's just full of my favourite ingredients and spices. So let me show you how I do it. So star of the show, one leg of lamb there on the bone kept as it is, I'm gonna keep that layer of fat on it as well. I'm not gonna do anything to that just yet, I'll talk you through that in a bit. Let's move on to the marinade first and then we can come back to the lamb. So to make the marinade, the first thing I'm going to do is crush some spices together. So I'm gonna go in with about half a teaspoon of coriander seeds and half a teaspoon of some cumin seeds and some black peppercorns, which I've already slightly crushed, but I'm just gonna take those in as well. And these are my whole spices, so I'm just gonna crush them together. And I don't want them too fine, I still want them quite coarse, but when you crush your spices, what you're doing is releasing the natural flavors and aromas. And I just want these seeds to have a bit of a bite. So like I said, guys, not too much at all. And that is perfect. So into that bowl, I'm gonna go in with my crushed whole spices. So I've got one tablespoon. Actually, I'm gonna go in one and a half. And then it's time to elaborate on that flavor now. So first of all, I'm gonna to contribute to the color. So I've got half a tablespoon of turmeric, half a tablespoon of paprika, a little bit more actually. Half a tablespoon of coriander powder, half a tablespoon of cumin powder, half a tablespoon of red chili flakes, just because I like my heat. But you know, if, you don't, if you're not a fan of heat guys, feel free to turn it down a bit. Half a tablespoon of red chili powder. One tablespoon of tandoori masala powder. And they're all my dry ingredients. I'm just gonna add a bit of salt to that as well. Now it is a leg of lamb guys, so I'll be generous with your seasoning. Now, for those of you that follow my recipes, you will know about this baby right here, this starring group. This is my Holy Trinity paste, and it's just a crushed paste. It's garlic, ginger, and green chili, which have all been crushed together, and I use equal amounts of each. So I'm gonna go in with two tablespoons of that. Can't get enough of that. And then I'm gonna go in with five tablespoons of natural yogurt. Now, natural yogurt is amazing at tenderizing meat. And pop that in as well. That'll be great. And then after the yogurt, I'm gonna go in with five tablespoons of oil. One, two, three, four, five. Pop that on the side. And I've got my lemon. Now I'm gonna slice the lemon in half. Now before you slice lemon, always roll it. And what this does is just release the natural juices really easily. It just makes it easier to squeeze basically. So that's had a good squeeze. Slice in half. Um, straight into the marinade. So bring your marinade back. I'm gonna go in with the lemon. Okay guys, and that is my tandoori style marinade. Perfect and ready for my lamb. Okay, so back to our star ingredient then, our leg of lamb. What I'm gonna do is make some slits. Now normally I would keep it intact and make a few slits on top, but what I'm gonna do is make some slits all the way across. So using a sharp knife, just almost open up the flesh. 
and it's really important that you use a sharp knife for this. Okay, so now that my leg of lamb has been scored and slit all over, I'm going to transfer it to a baking tray. So, over here. I have a baking tray ready, and as you can see, it's got some baking paper. So I'm just gonna leave one half open. Now, on top of one half of the paper, I'm just gonna smother a little bit of the marinade, about two spoons. it across and we're going to sit the lamb on it and that will just marinate the bottom half press it down and now for the fun part we are going to smother this bad boy Okay, looking good. So now what I'm going to do is tightly wrap my lamb. So I'm going to bring in all my paper. I'm just going to wrap it as tightly as possible, nice and snug. And that is it guys for now. This lucky bad boy has had one hell of a massage from me. It's time to put it in the fridge and I'll keep it in there for about two days now and I'm planning to cook it two days later. Hi guys and welcome back to my kitchen. So if you remember two days ago, I left my lamb to marinade. So now what I'm gonna do is just unwrap it and scrape off all that marinade. So it's had two whole days and it just smells amazing. I'm gonna rip off all this paper and I'll give you a close-up as to what it looks like. Beautiful colours. So it's really important now that we scrape it off before we barbecue it. Now the reason why we do that is so it doesn't burn. If we were to put this on the barbecue straight away, all this beautiful flavour would just burn and go bitter. That's what we don't want. So I'm gonna take it all off and then we're gonna pop it on the barbecue to let it sear and let it seal all over, form a beautiful crust. And then once it's sealed, I'm going to pop it in the oven and let it slow roast for about three or four hours. Okay guys, so my barbecue has been hot for about an hour now and the flames have all died down and it's just smoking hot now. So perfect temperature to get my lamb on and let that seal. So let's get this bad boy over. Just look at that. Look how beautiful that looks. Lovely and marinated and I'm just gonna sit it right on there. That's on the bottom. I'm gonna leave it there for a few minutes and then flip it over, let the other side seal. And once that's sealed, it's ready for the oven. And that is how it looks. Just look at those colors, how beautiful. Okay guys, so my lamb has had a total of 20 minutes of roasting on the barbecue, 10 minutes on each side, and it's been in the oven um, for two and a half hours on about 180 degrees. So when I looked at it, it was really nice, soft and tender. So I've just taken it out and I am going to reapply that marinade that I was telling you about. So let's have a look. Oh my God, this looks amazing. This looks so, so good. The meat is just falling off the bone. Oh, amazing.
Oh my god, the smells are incredible. This looks delicious. It tastes incredible and it smells amazing. So I've put the marinade back on now. It's fully covered. Just 10 more minutes ago, I'm going to cover it with foil just to let this uh, marinade crisp up and form a crust. And then I'll show you what it looks like there. So just 10 more minutes to go. Okay guys, and that is it. After 10 minutes, this lamb leg just looks amazing. That masala is just crisped up and it's from the most perfect crust. I think it's almost ready to dig in.